Welcome back. Today is payback day. <laughs> Not so long ago, I was a guest on one of my favorite hosts' shows. And I told her she owed me. And here you are today to see that payback. My name is Vindiquino. Her name, Armand La Familietti. Uh, Armanda. Man. I love your show. I love you. I love what you do. You've done camera. You've done stage uh, floor manager. You've done director. More times than not, you are an amazing director, but you are also an amazing host. Today, it's your turn to give us an idea. Who is Armanda <laughs> Famoglietti? I was afraid you were going to ask that <laughs> question. I know we were discussing earlier yeah. that I was in the witness protection program, <laughs> so it's That's hard right. for me to say who I am. Yeah. Um, well, you know, uh, I'm a volunteer. You know, yep. that's what I am. We all are. We all are volunteers, and uh, but that's what I am now. Um, and uh, I would say that's my purpose in life right now. Um, and in any way that I can help organizations that do good work, yeah. and there are so many of them here in Putnam County. Um, or people who do good and interesting work, then that's what I'm going to do. That's I how I'm the dedicating one, the rest of my life. I had the wonderful opportunity of having breakfast with you last week at the... Mental Health Association. Yeah. And at the Mental Health Association, we were both recognized for our shows. And one of the things that they mentioned is that you give people the opportunity to say who they are, what they are, and what they do. Amanda, we both feel very strongly about community. Putnam is a wonderful place. Mm -hmm. It just is a wonderful place. Uh, I work with the vets. I work with so many different organizations. They're here, and you do too. Right. And to give people the opportunity to say, hey, we need help. Uh, there are things that we believe in and we want people to know about them. Right. And well, Vinny, let me interrupt because you're so modest. You just glossed over the fact that your show, One on One with Vindicrino, was also recognized at the Mental Health Association Breakfast. Well, because we believe in the same right. things. That's right. And what we did, which made the, the day so much more fun, was that you know we acknowledge that we're just a small piece of the programs we do. Yeah. It's really the crew. I mean, yeah. we could just be sitting here alone in the yeah. dark talking to each other. It would mean nothing. But it's the volunteer crew. As I said, I'm a volunteer. Yeah. I love to be around other volunteers who come into the studio, give up a lot of their time um, to learn how to do this and then to do it for us and the organizations, people who sit in these chairs that we want to promote. Yep. So people have congratulations watched on, yeah. well, on thank your you and you too. recognition. Uh, people have watched these shows uh, and I'm sure many of them have wondered how did this come about well I think it's important that people understand mm -hmm. what what the whole idea is here right right there are thousands of dollars of equipment mm -hmm. in this studio this is a very well equipped studio yeah you know the, the thing about that is that um, we're very lucky to have a studio in Carmel right in the center of Carmel yeah. uh, where you know thanks to Comcast and the agreement that that's they made what, with the, uh, the Carmel town board so to thanks the ta Carmel town board uh, that we are able anyone who is yep. in the footprint of Channel 8 can come yep. in volunteer yeah. learn how to use this equipment yep. And make TV. I mean, in for truth, any purpose you want. In truth, it's a payback. Comcast is kind of like paying back the area. Oh, it is for using their airways. Comcast has to do it. They're the FCC back in the early '70s and '80s. But they 80s. don't have to do it so well. Uh, and they do, and they do it graciously. And this is a whole yeah. lot. We couldn't do it without yeah. Comcast. I guess I just want to tell you a little bit. A lot of people don't understand the background of why we even have. PEG channels, which is public, educational, and government channels. Um, it's because when cable, when cable was born, <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, they had to go into towns and districts and regions with all their equipment 
and they kind of had a monopoly and they used the what's called the right of way of each one of those muni municipalities and so in order to pay for their presence in that community and to be a monopoly and use their infrastructure. Public access, give back. They're, they're right. They had to give back to the community. Mm -hmm. And part of that, uh, besides what they call franchise fees, which is actually, you know, in the Carmel budget, for example, franchise fees are budgeted this year at in excess of $700,000. Wow. That's $700,000 going towards, uh, most of it going towards the general fund of running Carmel town of Carmel. That means taxpayers don't have to pay seven hundred thousand yeah. dollars yeah. towards that, which means that if it goes away <laughs> yeah. for whatever reason, all that. Yeah. then the taxpayers will have to make up yeah. the difference or, you know, what all the great things that Carmel Town does would have to be cut. Mm -hmm. So it's important that people understand that that not only do we have a studio, not yep. only do we have volunteers, uh, not only do we have uh, a point of access for all the great non-for-profits that are in this yeah. area uh, to come and talk about their shows and let uh, yep. their shows, let their programs, and let people know how they can contact them, who they help, yep. where to go, all of that. But we also have that lovely seven hundred thousand plus yep. dollars coming into our coffers. Yep. So I think that's important for for people to yep. know because lots of times public access or what's now yep. called community media gets dissed. And we need to be honest too that there are also paid employees for this. And uh, we do have two people who manage this whole right, thing. Right, right. So we, uh, uh, Jennifer Hanneberg, Hanneberg and uh, Dylan, Dylan Kudzillo, uh are amazing. They helped organize this whole well, thing they, because they it's more us. than one show. They train yep, us. They train, yep. They rescue us when we get into trouble and in the let's control Let's go to that for a second. <laughs> when we say train, what basically that means is that they bring people in here teach them how to use the equipment and once they've done that those people can do a show of their own you have access to this public free. access and everything by simply taking a free. course and learning how to use it right can you imagine i mean what things today are free and video is everywhere so to be able to pr to produce video learn how to make video Yep. for free yep. in uh, you know a, a studio with lights yep. and camera and directors and like you say people who are paid to help yeah. the volunteers yep. uh, that's really an amazing yeah. resource yeah. And, Dylan uh, and Jen keep things going and they create more than just our shows you are involved in a whole number of shows. Right. Uh, what are some of the shows that you are involved in besides mine and yours? Well, like you said, I have my own show yep. uh, w that I produce and host called Locally, Named? Locally Sourced. Locally Sourced. Not Locally Outsourced. Like Did you correct that? Like I put on my line, yes. <laughs> yes, Amanda. <laughs> locally Sourced. Um, and that's on Thursday nights. It's a series yep. at 7.30 on Comcast Channel 8. So if you're watching this on Comcast Channel 8, you know, just sit there until 7.30 Thursday night come yep. around and you'll now, see Now, do you put your shows source. on YouTube as well? I do. I put them all on but YouTube. I put them on Facebook. Yeah. Um, I share the, you know, Facebook is so great. Well, Facebook, I mean, it's uh, okay. Facebook is great and not so great. But uh, one of the things you can do is um, you can have a page in your community that's, you know, like Mayo Pack Parents or Brewster. And I take my shows and I put them up there. Yeah. So in case you don't have Comcast or for some reason you're not watching Channel 8 at 730 on Thursday. why you wouldn't be. But I can't imagine, but I think there are some people out there like that. Um, yeah. Then then it kind of kind of comes to you if you're a member of one of those community groups and you can watch it or not and yeah and um, i often there's, get feedback there's on, a lot of good information that yeah comes i out get there. feedback on facebook like for example the show that we did oh. the show that you're paying me back for <laughs> as i understand uh the sybil luddington show um that got a lot of views really? mostly from oh, facebook and a lot of likes and a lot of comments oh, that good. said wow i didn't some of them said well i didn't even know we had a heroine in putnam county yeah. that our yeah. patriotic heroine is right. sybil luddington yes she is so uh so I, I push it out to uh yeah we, i push yeah. it out to the community and they appreciate it right. so. and so what are some of the other shows that you're involved in um, well, the, I'm a, I'm usually here for one on one with Linda Quino. You're always here for one on one. You're really uh, what, one of the great things about um, 
and, you, and I'm sure you'll agree with me on this, is that you meet really interesting people. Oh, I love it. That's here. what I love about doing the show. Because I they never all, know they gonna, come yeah, here. Yeah, right? and right. they come, and they, I mean, we, one-on-one -on -one gets, like, holistic uh, people. They, we get authors, singers, songwriters, all kinds of things. And right. you, too, you bring yeah. in some very interesting there's so many different volunteer groups yeah. in Putnam well, County. Volunteer and I mean they're charitable groups. Yeah. They're organizations that um, help uh, the the community yeah. and like people are health. paid to work there and people volunteer to work there. Right. But the point is like like you were a teacher for 35 years and yeah. you're still a teacher because you do a yeah, lot basically of workshops. Yeah basically I still teach at West Hills Community right. and I work with a lot of writers. Yeah so um, I think there's a kind of a personality um, uh, that you know people like teachers, people like firemen and policemen, yeah. people who work for the state, yep. people who work for nonprofits. Um, and I'd like to showcase those people and the nonprofits yeah, because they, they're some the of them go they so give, unnoticed. And they go unnoticed and they give so much yeah. of themselves, right? And yep. so th I want to acknowledge that, and this is a way to do it, public access television. But you yep. asked me about the other shows. Yeah, so. what are some of the other shows? And, of course, I rambled on and I talked yes, about Yes, you did. You totally ignored my question. <laughs> no, but I'm, I'm getting. Not. I am getting. I'm getting <laughs> okay. there. Uh, just have patience with me, please. I'm old. I'm elderly now, and I ramble. So, so you meet everybody in the community. Like for example, on your show, one of your guests was Alana Sweeney. Now, Alana Sweeney is the CEO of United Way of Putnam and Westchester, yep. or Westchester and Putnam. She's actually also the wife of Judge Sweeney, right. who's given a, a whole lot. Yes, right. So they, they're a, they're a, yeah. in terms Alana's, of a giving couple, oh God, the they're hours, a power they are, giving they couple. Really. So I met Alana because I thought she was such a great guest on you, and I approached her and I said, Alana, you are a great speaker, and of course, you know, hearing about what your organization does, because you know, I think people have some, you know, maybe confused ideas about the United Way and what it does, yep. what it did, what it does yep. now. I said, I think it would be great if you had your own show. You can speak, you can talk, you can interview people, and you know everybody yeah. who's doing good in yeah. Putnam and Westchester. And she said, okay. Oh wow! <laughs> no, they wow. don't always do that. Um, and so I'm working with her to produce a show called United We Thrive. Wow. And we've done a couple of episodes. We don't really have enough yet to launch it, but that's coming this summer. Yeah. And I'm yeah. very excited yeah, about cool. that. So for her, I'm producing, and um, I think I directed yeah. the first two shows, too. And, so. and, you know, one thing leads to another. You know, all of a sudden, you're doing one show. I remember uh, when Linda Shaw came to me and she said, uh, Vinny, listen, I'm in a course, and uh, we're, we... What we do is we're working with Linda cameras and things. Linda doesn't really talk like that, Minnie. Yes, she does. Yes. <laughs> this is Linda. No, no, that is and, not Linda. And and if Linda's says, watching, yeah. I apologize on behalf of Vinny. All right, she goes, you know, Vinny, <laughs> do, uh, uh, can you do one show? And I did. One hundred of the Let's Talk writing. So did and you say do a series and or do one, one show? Goes, yeah, yeah she, we were going to do one, one show, show because she had to show that she learned something from taking this course. So she came to me and said, you know, I only have to do one show just to show that I've learned and I could do it. So she said, you know a lot of writers. Maybe you can do a show with a writer. And two writers and three and writers. And now 200 shows later. It, well, it, uh, let's so, talk writing, right? So hopefully that's what will happen here. You know, that it'll just keep developing. Well, I hope so, because I think the first couple of shows we did with United We, Thr we Thrive, um, we, we did it on the housing sh shortage in Putnam and Westchester, yeah, which and is there critical. Is. Um, it's, uh, it, I mean, people who, I mean, the medium income for for. Putnam County, what would you guess it was? The medium income of a family of four? 60,000? 40,000? 60,000, you're practically on welfare. It's really? $97,000. $97,000? Because you've got two earners and they're Oh, two earners, yeah. And they're, okay. you know, they're, they're bringing in Because I know some, some of these people in, the, in this area, you know, they're making fifty or $60,000, but then two of them together, that's why, unfortunately, a lot of these kids are having a hard time because they're latchkey kids. You you think that doesn't happen in the suburbs? Oh, it does. You can't get really get by 
um, on sixty thousand no, dollars. No, uh, I mean income rents. In Putnam rents County. are twelve hundred dollars a month. And try to find an apartment to rent. Yeah, never mind. So that's that was right. it's the housing shortage, it's housing affordability, and what the United Way and other nonprofits can do to help people who are in that situation. Are you paying attention to me, Vinny? Because you're looking around. No, I'm watching the camera. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm doing what we do. Are you, are I'm, you I'm making sure the cameras are doing what they're supposed to do. Are you directing the show? So anyways, <laughs> we had we had a woman here from um, Putnam Housing, and we had a woman from Westchester Housing Organization, and we had a banker. Uh, and the, the three of them and Alana had a great conversation about two, actually, shows. So it was a full hour on um, affordable housing. So that I'm excited about. Now, and I, if it wasn't for me volunteering here, would I ever met Alana Sweeney? No. Um, well, maybe I would have. But anyways, yeah. the other, I just want to say, right now on camera two is Linda Lonigan. Now, Linda Lonigan. Linda. <laughs> Hi, Linda. Linda Lonigan came in and uh, with um, Eric Kent. And uh, she was on your show yeah. too, right? So I met Linda again. Wow, really interesting subject matter, yeah. health and wellness. Um, Kent was interested in the whole technology and everything that's happening here. Well, we roped them both in to come and be volunteers. Eric, uh, Eric right now, I assume, is doing graphics, right? So hi, Eric. Yeah. He's hi, Eric, there. in graphics. Do, good job, Eric. So um, I, they should know that. They're, Right now, for this show that we're doing right now, we have three camera people. Right. We have a graphics person, we have a sound person, and we have a director. Yeah. So there's six people doing this. Last show, I think there were seven. Uh, and sometimes, that's a lot of people. And unfortunately, sometimes there's only Andy. <laughs> I know. Andy Campbell. Or God Nick. bless Andy Campbell, who runs from one camera to the other. To the other. Camera two. Andy, camera so, three. So to, so I'll make a plug, please. Yeah. You know, it's a lot of fun. Come if you've yeah. got some time during the day, and maybe that's an issue. But um, come on and volunteer. See what it's about. Yeah. It's a so whole we can lot use fun, some volunteers. Right? Hey, this is and a more fun shows. Thing to do. Okay, so let's yeah. get back All to right. Linda. More shows. So oh. I go up to Linda, Linda. and I say, um, so Linda, you should have your own show. You should do a show about you know this and that. And and um, uh, would you consider that? And she said. Yes. So, yeah. <laughs> and, and they've and both been Linda and Eric have Eric been here and running the Linda cameras. Eric and have become nice. super volunteers. They're nice. they're here all the time. Yeah. They're learning everything. And Linda's show is going to launch. I think it's July nineteenth. Yep. Uh, you're going to do your first show, and your mom's going to be her mom's going to be the first yep. guest. I think that's. I'm really looking forward to that. Yep. Um, and I'm going to be hopefully be she'll great. accept me as a crew member on then her show. Then you have show. Nick over there on camera one who. Poor Nick. Poor he's, Nick. If his car breaks down or if he's got a problem with something, <laughs> somehow he manages to get here anyway. Right. So I, that, again, like, you know, oh, I mean, devoted people. would I have gotten a chance to meet Important. Nick if I didn't, if I wasn't volunteering here? Probably. You know? Um, would I have gotten a chance to meet you? <laughs> Me? Oh, man. <laughs> uh, okay. Know, so, I mean, so it back just to leads the question to all 18 kinds of questions ago was <laughs> what other shows? do you work with besides? Well, that's what I, I mean, I volunteer. I mean, there are other ones too, No, right? there aren't really any other yeah, ones. I you have a list of shows? I have a list you... of shows that people do here at Comcast okay, well, let's that talk I about those. may or may not be involved All right. in. So, so one of the biggest producers, and I don't know if everybody knows this, is the 4-H Media Club. So Joanne yeah, Riccoboni is this marvelous volunteer woman who organizes. Who's these, a little fireball. She's a fireball, and I guess is. she has to be because she's trying to, you know, yeah. rein in she these these kids, yeah. And they produce. And they they do run cameras and do. They direct. They produce. They are the volunteers. Yeah. And these that are run the high the school kids, right? Yeah, met girls and boys. She gets them here and she gets them home. And then they when they're here, wow. they 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 do these shows. And one of the shows they do is Viewpoint. Have you seen Viewpoint? Yeah, view, Viewpoint's a great show. Excellent show. And again, show. I've been on it. Oh, you. <laughs> <laughs> you put on everybody's That was the show. better one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was one of their better episodes. No. Actually, I haven't been on one. I was on yours. I was on Viewpoint. I was on mine. Uh, but some of the other ones I haven't. Okay, I know well, Jimmy. Yeah. Jimmy runs. Okay. Th he does some interesting Yeah, shows. and uh, yeah, we'll get to Jimmy. Jimmy <laughs> McGuire. Well, let me stick with Viewpoint. So I think it's, it's um, uh, uh, what is her, Lillian Newman and Susan Solomon. And Susan Solomon, oh, yeah. as you know, is the executive director for Drug a Crisis in Our Backyard. Yes. And Lillian. Let's talk about passion. Oh, oh wow. Whoa. I mean, what a great organization that yeah, is. Yeah, and then yeah. Lillian is also a so social service worker. And they don't only talk about 
drug crisis in our backyard. Yeah. They, they talk about education. They talk about a lot of issues in the yeah. community. It's a really fun show because they yeah. have such great Very chemistry. Very community-minded. Not like us, but they no, have really no. good chemistry. They have good shows. <laughs> <laughs> good shows. Um, and then there's um, Hudson Valley Art Speak, which is Lana Kelly, and she talks to people who are very creative in the area and mostly in the visual yeah. arts. And it's, it's a wonderful show place. If you are an artist of any kind, you need to come on this show. Uh, you'd be surprised how Not many this people show. watch. No, I mean <laughs> these shows on, on this channel. Right, and another great show that also focuses on lots of different interesting people, a lot of artists and, and musicians, is um, Studio Around the Corner Presents. Oh, yeah. Right, oh, that's another Studio terrific Around show the with Judy Murano. Right. right? And, uh, and then the kids themselves, they don't just work behind the scenes, the 4-H Media Club. They also are on camera. So they've got a couple of shows on oh, camera. Wow. One of them I did a crew for. It was called, um, uh, what was it called? Uh, oh. I'm, I'm looking at my notes and now I, I don't have it. But anyway. You have to be able to read your own writing. It, it now, was Kids mind. Talk Back. I know. Oh, oh, and why did I write back. so they small? <laughs> did you see? This show is fantastic and I hope wow. they do more episodes because they have um, a panel of kids. They have like 13 to 16 year olds and they have a professor and they talk about really, you know, sort of gnarly issues like yeah, racism and yeah. bullying oh, and that wonderful. sort of thing. And it's a dialogue between these kids who are actually in high school living every day, be, you know, the, uh, seeing yeah. bullying, maybe experiencing it, whatever. Um, and seeing racism in the schools and outside, and then they can have an honest conversation about it. It's a fantastic yeah. show. Um, they also have a couple of other shows that maybe aren't so serious, but it's um, Now Watching, I think is one of the shows uh, yeah. they have, and Now Playing. And, uh, and that's where kids come on and they, they do kind of a critique show, you know, like the... Uh, wow. Uh, what was that old show about the movies? Anyways, you know, thumbs up or thumbs down. Oh, anyway, yeah, yeah. they do uh, Siskel and Siskel and Ebert, in, right? Yeah. Uh, they do their own version of Siskel and Ebert, and I think wow. that's that's terrific too. So, you know, that's I don't think people really realize how no. what an opportunity it is yeah. for them, and mm -hmm. with a great volunteer yeah. like Joanne Riccoboni um, yeah. helping them. And you, you know, that's one of the things we want people out there to understand. Do you have something you need to say? Here's the place to do it. Comcast is giving you a platform. Come in, you take the course. It's like maybe six sessions. Then you volunteer, do a couple shows, so you get a sense of what it's like to do a show. You can be your own host. You can come on. You can bring guests on. Is there something that you've been wanting to say? You can write a book, or you could do a show. Or both. Uh, or both. You, you're doing both. Oh, yeah, I'm doing both. <laughs> you can do both. So it is a chance to voice what it is you've been trying to say. Either come on one of our shows as a guest or create your own show. Bring your own guests. Uh, there were so many opportunities. We had a young man who was I knew was a young kid. And he said, can I do a show? And, and he did. Uh, uh, Goldfinger, uh, ah, yeah. and and he would still be doing a show if he wasn't living in Poland, or maybe Germany now, or and he went to Europe, and he went back to Europe, and he does programs there in Europe. So he did a tried a couple shows here, found out no, it's not easy. Sometimes well, I think he can make it. Let me interrupt you. I met him. I was a crew for his couple of shows, and I think he's a musician, and he can actually make money so over in Europe as yeah. a musician yeah so. and, oh yeah he's a very good musician he's a, he's a guitar player yeah and so he uh, was in a rock group uh, a very popular rock yeah. group let me Europe. remind you of something else that's great about being a volunteer at Comcast and they have equipment that you can take on the, out on the field so you can become a videographer and so uh, they'll show you how to work the the camera how to work the sound you go out remote locations, and, and I have to say, back to the 4-H Media Club, they've done this yeah, a thousand a of, times. They've yeah. done like every... I have to say, out of 200 shows, I've never done one in, in the field. All, uh, all my shows No, you did here. something at Veterans Park. Oh, yeah, yes, yes, you're right. You're I haven't right, seen right, that show yet, right. though. Yeah, when are you going to no, show that? I don't know, eventually. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 
Okay. You know why? It was a combination of my daughter's wedding that was in that park uh, to show all the different things that our county oh, parks do. Okay. Yeah. People have no idea what goes on in those parks. Well, I did a show about uh, rec and parks. Yeah. They, Two shows, actually. About really? what the. Oh, yeah. I have to see that. I haven't, I haven't seen <laughs> it's it. It's one of my older shows, uh, oh, Minnie. You'll have to go on my YouTube yeah. channel and see all my shows well, since there. Since I'm a younger have, person, you it was can, hard to see an older you, show. You can, no. Yeah. Well, you can just go in and have a film fest on, on my YouTube channel, yeah. which is, by oh. the way, um, Armanda Famoletti. So it's just my name. And that's how you can find it. Oh, cool. um, but also, so anyways, I've done that a few times. I've gone out and it's a blast. And um, and and I've gone out by myself. Yeah. So I'm lugging all this stuff. And I'm like this little old lady. But everything, wow. I can go out there and do it. And I did it. The, one of the ones I'm happiest about. Well, I've done um, a whole series on libraries called Love Your Local Library. Oh, wow. That's cool. And um, I the one I recently did was Brewster. And you know the Brewster Library, yeah, I'm absolutely. Sure. Beautiful. I used to go there all the time because I I loved. In the basement, they had all these old yellowed newspapers before they put them all <laughs> on line. And I used to go through the newspapers. I used to love reading all these little stories uh, about the area yeah. and prices. You can do that at the put. put Amanda, the story you know what office. I hate about being a host. The fact that time oh, no, runs don't tempt me. out. We didn't even talk about Sybil Ludington, our favorite person. We've got two minutes oh, left. Oh, no. Okay. So, anyways, um, well, I guess I made my point that this yep. is a phenomenal resource for ages. Yep. You know, we had Girl Scouts in here from, like, yep. you know, six years old. We've had Putnam Humane Society and animals. And to some of your guests, that man who yep. talked a few weeks ago about um, being in... Uh, he wasn't a soldier in Vietnam, but he took Oh, yeah, the, the beer greatest run. beer run ever. Oh, what a great oh, show. What, what a great, great guy. Show. And he had well, to be, you know, we up today. there. So. We, we, we did a show earlier uh, on holistics and the importance of of making the most of your body and your life while right. you're here. And you also did a show early, and this is the variety, right? You did a show with a woman who was a, a retired a district attorney and who has written a whole slew like of crime eight books. Yeah, mystery. so I many. Mean, it's just amazing. So well, guys, bad news, man. <laughs> we are just about out of time. Armanda, I want to publicly thank you for what you do. Uh, bringing it's a, guests it's on. It's a labor of love and it's lots of fun. And I so especially you know, want me. to thank you for all the shows of one-on-one of, of one that you've directed. So keep tuning in. Well, yeah. Remember, Comcast is here for you. Uh, watch our shows. Mine, the Monday, 7 to 7.30. Armanda's is... It's Thursday, 7.30, here on Channel 8, Comcast. Yep. Tune in. Come join us. Run a camera. Be here. Uh, Become a crew. director, a producer. Thank you. The you sky's know, the limit. You know, every time the things roll, it's like you're going, hurry up, Vinny, hurry up, hurry up. I think okay. maybe we're moving.